one. We got five minutes on the clock. What is your name and what is your podcast show? Hi, y'all. I'm Sarah Losey, and I'm the co-host of Branded. The co-host of Branded. Tell us about your podcast show and why did you start it? Uh, Branded is the comprehensive guide to creative branding. We talk about everything from building your personal brand to becoming a thought leader, all the different ways that your personal brand can help you grow in your career and your professional life. And we basically launched it because we sat on Zoom every day talking about these topics and we were both producing podcasts. Um, my co-host is Larry Roberts, so he's been launching shows for businesses for years. And uh, we were both uh, producers and neither of us actually had a show at the time. So we figured we probably need one yeah. if we're going to be the podcast people. What a great name of a podcast show branded because it's so it's so powerful. It tells you exactly what it is. A lot of times people have a hard time finding the brand for it. So you help with business brands, but also personal brands. Are there any times where they overlap or like what are your views on personal versus company brand? Uh, there is so much overlap. Um, I think, in my opinion, there should only really be a... Um, like a disconnect if you're not intrinsically involved in the company. So my personal brand and my professional brand are both favorite daughter media. And if you look at favorite daughter media, it's just me. It's basically just another way of introducing myself, mm -hmm. but the company is mine. So that's okay. But if I didn't own the company and I wasn't tied as strongly to the company, I wouldn't want to have that level of connection with that brand. Because if I were to leave the company or lose that position, I then lose my brand. Ah, so if I work for AOL, I wouldn't want to build an AOL branded podcast show because I'm building my own personal brand. So that makes a lot of sense. That's a good if this, then that kind of um, mindset. So will, when building a personal brand while working at another organization that you're not intrinsically in, uh, involved in, what are some of the things that you think really help propel your brand? personal brand forward that you should look at? Um, even if you are tied to a brand, you can definitely still be building a personal brand and you can do it together, but your focus should be on thought leadership. Because when you become a thought leader and you're really vocal and outspoken about the, your, your perspectives and your ideas and your new views in a certain topic, you're not only going to be promoting the company that you work for, but you're going to be promoting yourself as an expert. So you'll start to gain attention in both ways. And that way, even if you do lose that connection to the company you are with, you can still have all of this content and all of this respect and acumen within your field that still is tied to your name. Yeah. When when I have conversations with, with people considering having a podcast show, outspoken is a thing that I think a, a lot of people fear. How, how do I know I'm not taking it too far? How do I know I'm being a thought leader? How do I know what I got to say is even valuable? How do you approach that? That really honestly just comes down to having imposter syndrome. If you're telling yourself that what you say isn't valuable, then you just aren't feeling that you have that authority. But I always think of it as everybody has a story to tell and everybody's story is valuable. And the story that really launched my career and put me on this path into podcasting of thought leadership was about a really embarrassing accidental tattoo. And <laughs> if <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of a long one. I got a minute and 12 seconds, but yeah. I went on a solo trip to Ireland and came back with a tattoo that looked a little more like a uh, penis than it was supposed to. Um, <laughs> but it really made a lot of changes in my career. So that's a story that I've told on podcasts, on stages, like everywhere across the country. And if that story has value and has become like a professional uh, kind of like it's skyrocketed my career within the industry. There's no story that you have that's yeah. not valuable in some way. It yeah. really just comes down to how we tell our stories and how we're able to derive some value from them. It's a you've turned that tattoo into a professional penis tattoo. Like so yes. like actually propelled I, your, your Yes, I have or... become the girl with the penis tattoo. <laughs> um that is how I'm known in the FinCon uh, financial content creator space. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's been covered as an airplane, but um, that if if that story can have an impact and if, impact other people and really have value, what stories can you tell, no matter how small, that can do the same? Sounds good. So 
for people listening in, go to Branded Podcast to check it out and learn more, right? Listen to Branded.com. Listen to Branded.com. All in under five minutes, guys. Have a great day. Love you. See you on the next one.